Hello everyone, Crystal Vigi here and welcome to a tutorial slash showcase. What I'm going to be doing is showing you how to change the textures of objects in Spyro 2 and 3. Unfortunately not Spyro 1 yet, eventually that may be uh, created by Alex Shadow, there's sort of a different engine that requires a lot more work to get that to work. But I'm going to show you off something pretty damn cool. So you see this window here, this is my fireworks window. This these are all the object textures right in a certain area now notice at the top there i don't know if you can see that but it says area zero so you know each level has like a different area um you know there's like the three sections in most levels basically what that means is that you actually have to individually change the objects for every not only every level this is inspire three at least not only every level but then also every area but I guess that if you set up the files and you get everything to auto load, you can probably get that to work. Now, I'm going to show off what I've done here, for example, of what I've, you know, some textures that I've changed. All right, so we have this here. You can see, if you zoom in, you'll see that I have, what I've done is I've put ice over some of the textures here and there as well. I've turned a particular logo into Crash Bandicoot. And now you're going to see that come to play. So what you want to do is you want to save the object. You firstly want to save the object texture right there. It will load, it will go into your Spyro edit folder. I'll show you that folder now. These are all the different levels that we have. So when you, when as soon as you go into Spyro edit and click save scene textures or save objects or save sky, whatever, it will pop up in a folder in your EPSXE folder here called Spyro edit. Then each individual level. So for example, if I go here to Midday Garden, you will see that I have some different textures. There's my object textures. There's some textures that I've made here, for example, like that. Um, some more. They'll look really bad quality when they're zoomed in. But yeah, so I've got my Crash Bandicoot here. So what I want to do now is get out of here. I want to click Load Object Textures. And there we are. Crash Bandicoot, how you doing? Now, if only we actually could actually do some sort of task. This is from an upcoming tech hack, by the way, guys. I'm not going to try not to show all of it off, but I uh, look forward to it. Should be out in the next few weeks. So here's an example of some textures. Now, you do lose a bit of color each time, basically. So it's a bit like tech hacks normally. Like you can't, it can never look perfect. It will never look as good as it used to look. It does look okay. I mean, like for example, that could be a little bit better, but almost kind of adds to the dilapidated, like broken dare I say, uh, appearance of it. I actually kind of, I kind of like it in its own, in its own way. Um, actually, if you notice that it, it's like a little hole through the thing, because I, I think I'm accidentally using a black texture there, so you can actually see through it. Now watch this, if we break it, for example, it actually breaks in the proper way. That's awesome. All right, time to show off a few different texture changes in some other levels. Oh my God, guys, beware of the crystal fissures. Oh my goodness, look at this. I'm a danger to society and spooky swamp. Let's get rid of me. Okay, there you go. Oh wow, the pe oh, other pieces fall apart. I've also made this, these little things like sort of partially invisible, you know, like sort of see-through. And a bit darker as well, because why not? What else are we doing? Well, we're Ember, you know, my spy Ember that uh, you guys raved about. Uh, you guys loved it. And I loved it too. Okay, there you go. This is weird, it's sort of fucked up. It's like watching yourself being beheaded in like a movie or something like that, you know, where like, um, you know, I don't know, like that Final Destination scene where it's like just absolutely, just like they make like a re recreation of like your body and then they just, just just rip it apart. It would sort of be like psychological, psychologically fucked up. You know what else is psychologically fucked up? This looking like that disgusting Krabby Patty in Spongebob. Ugh, Michael, my friend Michael. I made him look disgusting. Disgusting, just like so, yeah, like it's like such an off-colored egg, you know. There we go. As I kill myself more. Uh, okay, what else? What else could we change? I've got this, that. I can change the color of. See, I've actually an error there. Whoops! I've actually um, see. Look, it's like it's like gone green for some reason. Um, I should fix that. I can actually change the color to be like uh, no blue or whatever. Or, you can't change everything. Not every object is actually changed because. Uh, some of them are just flat colors. So, for example, um, that guy you could probably change. These a lot of these guys know because they're just they're just like individual um, 
shapes. I should just fuck everything up. Just completely distort the textures. All right, guys, I'm going to go to a level. I'm just going to completely, absolutely annihilate everything into complete madness. Let's have a look what that will look like, okay? Oh my god, guys, what the fuck is going on? I've, like, reversed every texture. I've, like, literally just taken the texture and, uh, like, the file and just reversed everything, like, up and down. So, you're getting a bit of, uh, pink stuff, you're getting a bit of... What the hell am I even? Am I, like, part TNT? Yeah, I'm part TNT. Holy shit, this gives me some ideas. I just, I just be, like, a TNT guy, TNT Spyro, basically. Alright, okay. And do I have... You know, as well as that, I have, think I have uh, my good pal. What's it called? That's, mm, wait, I think I have Headbrush Apocalypse on that. Let's find out. Oh, what? I do. Hell yeah, okay. Remember, I died in here last time. Well, like, okay, shit. Now, the problem with uh, Headbrush Apocalypse in Spyro 3 is because you can't do the. Um, you know, because because you can't do the move like the what's the word for it? Um, uh, the double jump. It's sort of like look. It's like really sort of awkward, and you can't get out a lot of the time. So yeah, okay. This is an ex this is an example of just madness. I want to try and find the spiro texture. What what the hell is that? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's like the turret or something like that. Cool. Okay. I want to find the upside down spiro texture. That's that's because it, it's somewhere. Okay, this this room at this point, at this point, is this even an object texture hack tutorial? It's just a, it's just yet another video of oh my god, I've trapped myself in. Shit, this is just another like head bash apocalypse video without it being head bash apocalypse. You know, like I know I've been I've been teasing head bash apocalypse for so long. This is this is the teaser of what the freaking hell you're gonna get. Hey, look, there's eyes on me. I got eyes on the back of my head, motherfucker. Cause I got eyes. Now we're in Bamboo Terrace, I've inverted this guy's colours, see he actually sort of had the blue thing and then sort of like a, a different colour, where, where the blue is was like a different colour, I think it was like sort of orangey, yellowy sort of thing. Let's go through here, I should have actually used my texture hack that I made for this level but I haven't, it's on a different file. Anyway, I want to show you another thing, oh god, it, it's like it's like really like taking me, just sort of, it's like I'm like really double taking it every look at him because like, you just see, look from here, right? You can see what color it actually was and then the lighting pops up. So there's like vertex, there must be like vertex lighting on the actual, um, on the actual models themselves because some things are actually completely gray, right? Like, you know, sort of shades of gray, different shades of gray. And um, basically when, when you then change them a little bit, it pretty much remains the same color. So it means that their actual lighting is going on on the, you know, on like almost like this separate layer on top of the, uh, of the, of the, you know, texture. So they can, you know, have like a base. They did it, they do this with water in Spyro as well, where they actually like vertex light the water. So the water actually is originally like gray and then they edit it. Um, okay, so I've got another thing up here I want to show you. Going through, having fun. God. Playing this makes me want to just do another Let's Play of Spyro 3, even though I did one, like, not even that long ago. It's just, I know, I'm a disgrace. I, I can't resist. It's just too much fun. I will be doing Spyro 2 soon, though. Uh, Japanese, so that should be fun. Shit. Great, what a great job there. Okay. Well, at least you listen to some cool beats and, uh, watching me charge through Spyro the Dragon. This is, this is quite the quote-unquote tutorial, except it isn't. I won't, I won't, like, phrase it as a tutorial, more just, like, showing that it's, you know, proof of content. That's cool. I actually like this almost more than, I mean, the other one has this sort of, like, washed-out effect. This is pretty, pretty cool. Goodbye. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, uh, I reckon, hmm, what else could, is there anything else I could do? Maybe, yes, I've got one more idea, and it has to do with some Ape Escape textures, so, uh, I shall see you in a sec. Alright guys, so here we are in Spectre Farms, as you can tell by the uh, great sort of technological ape escape vibe. The Spectre little icon on there, how totes and dwarves is that? You can actually see it's black, so sort of like see-through. Uh, I've done a few more little things, not that much, like it's sort of hard to actually kind of think what I should do for each 
one. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I, some of them, there's like a bunch of actual object textures in this, to be honest, and that sort of makes it interesting. Uh, someone's like, yeah, here we go. Here's an, another one example. Another Mac mess of example. All right, let's get up here. There we go. I love the holes and everything. It just makes everything feel so like hollow and like, I don't know, almost like N64-esque. I don't even know why I, I'm reminded of the N64 when I think, do this, but yeah, for some reason, I just, I just am. All right, what else do we have? I swear I did something. That's right, okay. What I need to do is find where the other guy is the one on the, um, you know, like the secret hidden gem case thing. All right, I'll go get that. If I had eyes in the back of my head, I would have told you that you look good as I walked away. And here's the final thing I wanted to show you, a perfectly placed Spectre logo on there. I actually, this actually is like almost the best texture like modification I have. It just looks absolutely picture perfect. Yeah, I love it. Um, and I think that will be it for now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be doing more object texture hacks in the future. If you've got any ideas, give them to me. Uh, definitely, you know, there's, there's a lot of potential things I could do. Some of it is difficult, but you know, give me some suggestions and we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for your continued support. I'll see you later. Now Beverly Kenny is truly do something, one of the do something stupid. young performers to watch in jazz, and it's a pleasure to watch it. Sometimes I'm a little more concerned with the audience reaction than I should be, but if do I'm something. not concerned with them, then I really feel what I think.